As a rule, I never open women unless I can touch them. Never say never, but that's like a general rule. And within 30 seconds, 30, if you're a beginner, I'll give you one minute max. You have to start getting sexual. You don't do that, good luck to you. Spend three hours there. Yeah, you might get lucky because, you know, you might still have some cool like you, blah, blah, blah. But if I walk into your set, you're fucked. You want to give a couple examples of like I'm little keys? Okay, whole, cool. you know, uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you my whole kino model. I need one person that I can demo on. I'm like, what? She wants. Have you raised your hand? Yeah, it's fine. I'll do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Something and all of a sudden I notice her hair is like, oh wow, you're really nice. 
lines here, and I'm going to just do that. I mean, we would work like a charm. They start to get like, okay, the guy's trying to notice me sexually. Because this is, if I'm noticing her hair and I think it's good, then I'm sexually interested. And I'm looking at her as a woman now. I'm you know, appreciating her feminine features now. So you're trying to relate that intention now. And again, I'm touching her. So she's also seeing, not every guy's going to go and touch her there. So she's going to notice you differently now. She's trying to be a more man who's trying to get sexual with her. So that's also part of level two. Um, you know, at some point, like, hold her hand, then make sure you squeeze it. Okay, and then let it go gently. So you, you're gonna keep mixing this. So you're talking to the girl, and the whole thing is going on, hey, what's going on, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, oh my God, this girl is so weird. There you go, my touching goes on. So I'm having fun with her, what not, my touching keeps on increasing, and touching doesn't, you don't stop touching, you just Magic, do, you do, do you have videos? Do you have videos? He does have, have some videos, we can uh, talk about yeah. them afterwards. Okay, sorry, go ahead. Yeah. And then you just continue with that. Um, Three or four level two kino you've done. Level two is the sexual, three or four. And either she, if she's not objecting to it or she is reciprocating, you can go for the kiss. That's it, that's all it takes. Three or four level two kino. Because if she knows what the fuck's going on. This is, if I do say, so, oh my god, I love your hair, and she thinks I'm just trying to be a social guy, she's a retard. <laughs> <laughs> okay. um, I have another one that I do is like, this is really. Um, <laughs> It might sound really ballsy, but it works like a charm. And I had to learn from a woman. A woman did that on me. It's really funny. So if they're wearing a necklace, I just go, don't worry, I'm checking your boobs. But that piece is fucking awesome. And I'm going to talk to her about her boobs. And I'm like that close to her, like checking her breast, you know, necklace. And I'll get back. And when I go on the date, I do the same thing, actually. Yeah, I'll be on the date, I'm like, but this time I'm actually checking her boobs. And it becomes really funny. <laughs> but a girl did that to me. She was with her boyfriend. And this was in New Jersey when I was going to college in New Jersey. And she was really hitting on me. We were like, we used to live right across. And so she came to me, I was wearing something, and she was like, oh. And she was like so close that she was breathing on my neck. And I was like, fucking getting turned on. And her boyfriend in front of me was like, fuck, what do I do now? <laughs> so that's where I actually picked that from. And I do it all the time. It works really, really well. Again, everything you're doing is you're basically saying, I'm a sexual guy. I'm very comfortable. I'm comfortable coming close to you. I know you're going to like me. There's absolutely no reason why you wouldn't want to be with me, because I feel like a 10 inside. I've worked enough on my skills. I know I'm a cat. I know women want to be with me. And I know they're going to have the best time of their life if they date me. But again, this is not just, just a funny belief system I have. I've worked on my personality. I've worked on my lifestyle. So I know what I, whatever I'm thinking is going to happen if they end up dating me. Does that make sense? So you do three or four of these, go for the kiss. Um, the place where I'm in my life right now, I don't give a shit, I just put them to me and go for the make out. Um, but what I used to do and what I teach initially is like there are two or three ways you can go for the kiss. One, the sleaziest and cheesiest method, but what the fuck, I do it. It's like, that's what I go cheek, cheek, and give a quick peck on the lips. The whole thing is I got her used to my kiss. At least she got an idea that I want to get sexual with her. So I'll be like, you know, I'm talking to her, like, oh my god, I love you, girl. Mm -hmm. Boom. Now she has an idea, a few minutes down the road, I can go for the kiss. That's, that's one thing I do. Uh, second thing is like, you know, I'll just be talking to her, like, wow, you smell really good. And from here, I'm just gonna go straight for the kiss. What I'm not gonna do is I'm not gonna go, uh, and then go back. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna go this, because so you have to be very smooth about that. It's like you here. She's letting me get clo that close to her and letting me smell her and all. She's in. Or she would not.